Hey everyone, I'm Godly Paul, back with some more League things. Today we're going to be doing some more Kindred in the Jungle, who would have guessed? And for the build-wise, we're going to be doing a Rageblade build. And the reason we're doing Rageblade again, even though I did it rather recently, is because Riot reworked the interaction with Rageblade this patch that came out a few days ago. So it's now a little bit better on champs like Kindred. So how Rageblade used to work is Rageblade used to just take away your ability to crit, period. That's it, just done, you couldn't crit once you bought Rageblade. Now, instead, what they did is they changed it so when you buy Rageblade, it sets your crit chance at zero. So, what does that mean, necessarily? Is it means that champs like Kindred, who have a built-in crit once they hit the enemy's health threshold, which for the sake of our argument will be at 15% because we won't have any crit due to Rageblade, which still 15% is good, it means that you can still crit. So, uh, making our E still able to execute and crit is a really big thing, because it allows you to essentially do some really fun things with it. Their Velkaz just went into my jungle, which makes me unsure of if he started at my red or not. He went for a deep ward early on, from what I can tell. Okay, no, he didn't go straight to my jungle, but he's definitely on blue side. Oh, she couldn't hit him. Giant. Hmm, now the question is, did Echo go straight up here or not? That's what I want to know. I'm not sure. I like I know 100% my red buff is warded. If there's or he either warded that or by my Raptors. I just don't know where. So it's really risky to come up here. I did obviously do a weird clear path because I went to go check his red. But this is very risky to do now just because I don't know what, what here is warded and what Echoes are behind any. Okay. She's dead, dang. She wasn't paying attention to the map. I'm assuming she was like fighting when she when that happened. Hmm, he had that blink. Dang. Well, Echo's going to the bot side crab, so he's giving me the top side crab. That's that's good. That's good. Um hmm. Sucks that Annie died, but at least I didn't get, like, destroyed and losing my crab and stuff. I should be able to clear my Krugs and then maybe my Raptors get myself my level 4 and back. Oh, see, the issue with going for builds like Rageblade is, you, like, part of the issue that makes it bad is it's forcing you into going a, uh, like, a crit build. So you pretty much need to get a crit Mythic, which... None of them are very good. Like, Kraken's all right to an extent, but it's not as good as, like, Trinity and stuff. So it feels kind of bad to have to get it. And on top of that, the components for Trinity, I, I don't, like... I don't think I'm going to be able to get 1,300 gold for sh the straight-up Noon Quiver here. So I'm going to have to sit on, like, two long swords and a dagger, which is going to suck. I hate having to sit on just those components. Because I don't feel nearly as good as, like, getting a Dirk or something. Eh, might be able to, maybe I could get a kill on Mundo. He's not worth 300 gold, but he's worth a good amount of gold. I think he just went and warded right there too. Yep, he did in fact go ward. I'm only flashing here just so I can put like my E on him. I did get 220 gold out of it. It's good enough. It's good enough. We will hopefully uh, push this out with Rengo Kitty. I probably won't get any of the actual minions myself, but you know, like, getting this XP, it's good. Echo's bot side, so I'm gonna go get that second mark as well. Ah, uh, how much is Gromp worth? Is Gromp even worth 100 gold? Probably not, right? I don't know how much Gromp is actually worth, but I mean, hey, it puts me a little bit closer. Uh, actually, no, I can get my Noon Quiver. From getting that kill on the Mundo, I actually can get my Noon Quiver on my first pack. That actually feels pretty decent. Did I just in potentially yes? Am I okay for the moment? Also yes. Hmm. What? The, how did he? Did he know I was right over here? Okay, I think he has a ward over there. Can I get the kill? Oh, we got the kill in the end. Woo! We actually killed the Mundo. That was really hectic. <laughs> that was really, really hectic. I was able to kite him out barely with the wolves. 
And luckily I was able to get two heals off of my passive, so I didn't die early on there. Oh, that was really lucky. <laughs> well, we got our Noon Quiver and our Boots here, so that's good. Um, against that team, too, there's not very much... That, like, I could go for a Snowball item here. Like, for example, I could go for, like, a Collector first item and then Trinity... Or not Trinity, sorry. Collector and then Kraken and then Rage Blade. But the reason I'm not doing that is because if I do that, I know the Collector is a really, really good first item and I could Snowball really heavily off of it. And I'm trying not to Snowball super heavily before I get the Rage Blade. I want to actually give the Rage Blade a fair chance and not be, like, you know... 10 and 0 with the with the Kraken Slayer collector, and then finally get the Rage Blade, and then be like, oh, Rage Blade's good. <laughs> I'm trying to give the Rage Blade a fair shot here, so that's why I'm not going into a snowball item for a first item, and instead I'm just going collect or no, nah, I, I can't even think now. Kraken Slayer. <laughs> Definitely possible to kill here. I have to use my R, which sucks. Kaiso's not level 6 yet, though. Uh, can they kill her and get the triumph? Dude, auto R, please. Ah, oh, triumph! Okay, we're good. Woo! That was risky. That was really, really risky again. <laughs> I got the triumph. I got my third mark off of that, so that's pretty good. My topside jungle should be spawning in a moment, so I'm gonna go head on up there. We're going to have enough to get our crit cloak now, which is nice. Just give us the little 15% chance to crit. And until we have our Rage Blade, it does make our yeast a little bit stronger. Adds the 7.5%. So now if they're at 22.5%, we'll do the extra damage. So, I mean, hey, that's pretty nice. Yeah. That's pretty, pretty nice. Echo killed bot lane, unfortunately. Thresh, if he can... Actually, Thresh could probably kill that Echo there if he kept kiting around the minions and autoing. He actually is going to. Wait... Okay, no. Oh, Echo got the level 6 off that. At least Thrush makes it out alive. Mm, he's got... Yeah, he's got wards. It's really hard to get anywhere near him because of his range, too. Jeez, bro. <laughs> it's so hard to get anywhere near him because of his range. <laughs> Alright, I can't do anything really without Flash and R. It's too risky to go any further up there just because if he gets one more knock up or anything, he'll kill me. Dang, he's got wards over here, and I need Annie to kind of like clear the vision to make this a little bit more bearable for me. Yep, he just put another one down. Oh. Oh, well, Rengo, you didn't need to flash, but I mean, we take those anyways. Now, the question is, do I go for this mark with no ult or anything up? Hmm. No, okay, it's gone. Don't you kill my kitty cat. You don't kill me, it's kitty cat, bro. You don't do it. Now the question is, is Echo going to be here? Alright, good kitty. I'm kind of waiting for a second, and now I'm just going to go in. I just wanted to see what he was going to do, and I just wanted to make sure that he was in a position where I knew I could just flash over the wall reliably and kill him. Oh. Alright, this is fine. Yep, this is a fine fight. If Rengar comes back, we can kill. There we go. That was a fine fight, because he used his R to try to burst down the Rengar there, but didn't one-shot him, so he guaranteed killed himself right there. We can also pretty much get our uh, our Kraken, as long as I don't die. I'm going to get Herald, and we can go and then get our topside camps, and I know they're still alive. Then we're pretty much guaranteed Kraken, so... Cracking off this pack will be pretty gnarly to have, and then we will maybe get the dragon. Maybe we'll get there in time. Oh, 
Alright, that's dead. Nobody's got a ward on the dragon yet, though, which is not good, because that might mean Echo's already on it, and Echo being on top of the dragon could be pretty bad. To say the least, could be pretty bad. Heads back to the fountain. Oh, stupid little crow. Stupid little little crow guy. <laughs> Alright, we got our Kraken Slayer, though. So now we're going to be going into uh, Berserker Greaves and then Rage Blade to see how it goes. One good thing about Rage Blade being an on hit is it allows you to build crit builds without doing crit builds, if that makes sense. Like, it sucks to lose your crit chance and the crit items aren't good. But what I mean by that is if crit items do get better, like, for example, over time, like, they've been making zeal items and stuff cheaper. With things like that happening, and they're also making, like, Hurricane really cheap next patch... It kind of lets you do things like Storm Razor and, you know, Rapid Fire and, like, Rage Wage, which are really cheap builds, but you get all the effects of, like, the crit items, like the slow from Storm Razor, the extra range from Rapid Fire, without having to go for crit if you don't necessarily want to go crit crit. I know that makes, that probably sounds confusing, but that's one thing that I do like, because it, it opens up ways to use the items differently, if that makes sense. I don't know, that's probably better wording. I really want to go kill that Valkazum bot lane. Come on, cat. Go down there. Stop throwing things, please. Uh, can me and Annie even win this 3v3? They're full health, all of them. If Annie could one-shot one of them, maybe. But it's really dependent on Annie actually being able to do anything with Bear. Alright, and he gets to kill. That's good enough. They only got one plating, so that's not the worst thing that could have happened in the long run. Sucks that uh, we didn't get them all. Oh, Annie, you continued to chase for some reason, and I don't quite understand that one. Are we still fighting this for some reason? Yeah, we're still fighting this for some reason, alright. Alright, well, I mean, I get a triple out of it, so I'll take that. Uh, dang. Um, I don't get to use my Herald for any plating, which sucks, because I got the triple. But in the end, the triple is probably better than nothing, so we take those either way. Yeah, no, no plating. I should be able to get at least first blood turret to myself, though. It still should be, like, what, 400 gold for first blood turret solo? That's still not a bad, like, chunk of change or anything. Just not as much as I would like, because I'm greedy. Yeah, 450 gold for that. Alright. That could have been worse. Could have been better, but could have been worse. We get our boots, and then... We get this, this, and I guess we do get the Rage Knife, too. So Rage Knife is just a little bit of a weaker, like... Rage Blade, and it doesn't double on hits like full Rage Blade does. But it still converts your crit chance, so you can see I do 61 physical damage on hit now. Uh, one interaction, if you do decide to do Rage Blade, is you have to understand that because it's weird and it's Riot things, Kraken Slayer on range champions is not an on hit effect, so Rage Blade does not double Kraken Slayer. Kraken Slayer is an on attack effect, which is not the same as an on hit effect. I know that's confusing, and I mean, it's just, again, weird Riot things that make no sense. But... Yeah, it's it's not it doesn't work the way that you would think it would, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. So you can't do anything about it, really. Oh, can I live? Let me live. Oh, I got out. Oh, you're so mad. <laughs> but yeah. So if you're ever using Rage Blade, it's strange. If you're a melee champion though, like Master Yi or something, it is an on-hit effect. For some reason, it's different for range champs. That's part of the issue with Kraken Slayers, like. I guess item identity is it seems like it's a crit it's the kind of you know the crit mythic or the adc mythic that would go really well with on hit builds and things like rage blade it seems like it's the, it's the mythic you would build with rage blade but it doesn't synergize with rage blade oddly enough 
That's one of the weird things about it that kind of like holds it back in a sense. Is like, why does it not synergize with the item that you would expect it to synergize with? Like, uh, I, I, that's just one of the weird things that's always been confusing to me about Kraken. Is it could synergize better, but it doesn't. Hey, ooh, we can go get the Rage Blade now. There we be. And then I'm going to go into Storm Razor next because I do want that slow. We'll do Storm Razor and then probably Rapid Fire Cannon. Those are probably the next two items. Because I want the slow and then I also want the longer range. And then after those, we... I don't know what I'd really do. Okay, I got the hiccups now. Alright. Weird. Weird champ is weird. But uh, maybe maybe Essence Reaver for the Sheen proc, just for the hell of it. Or maybe just Bloodthirster for some lifesteal. Although Bloodthirster kind of sucks compared to Ravenous. But it has the crit that Ravenous doesn't for Rageblade. So I mean, either one's really an option. <laughs> oh, she flashed and got murdered. Holy bro. <laughs> How much am I doing? I'm doing 80 on hit damage right now per auto. That's 80 on top of all the AD and stuff. Plus that gets doubled every third auto attack. So, you do a ton of damage with it. Ooh, Echo Bro, you thought. You thought you were going to get away with that. Oof, bro. That Thresh hook, too? That was just nice. Good on that Thresh. Now let's, uh, let's come over here and let's get this dragon now. After Dragon, we'll go to that red buff, because that red buff has a fairly high chance of being my mark right now. I think it's the only thing alive that could be my mark. Yep, there's that mark on the red buff, like I thought. That's second Dragon for our team as well. This puts me at seven marks, so that's more range, too. Wait, where, who warded that? Oh, it was probably Nami, huh? Oh! Okay, well, this is fine. <laughs> That's fine. Bro, it's not gonna happen. You just, you gotta stop trying that echo. He's so hell-bent on trying to execute me like that. Ooh, look at us go. You didn't expect the wall jump, Nami. You never expect the wall jump. Nobody expects the infamous kindred wall jump over the red wall. <laughs> oh, and her bear took their buff from or the camp for me. What a dick. <laughs> uh, they're probably gonna go and grab themselves Herald in a second. I'm gonna push out this wave and then I'll go meet them at the Herald. Uh, can we finish Storm yet? No, we need 2400. It, it's it's rather a low time to get this. Uh, and it's my mark though, so I want it. This puts me at 9 marks too, which 9 marks is one step away from just more range. That's all I really care about is the 9 marks for the range, or the 10 marks for the range. But, puts me in a very, very close position to get it. And boom, that's dead. Now, I'm gonna go back and grab myself my Storm Razor. So yeah, the Rage Blade definitely feels really nice right now, especially because I'm pretty far ahead with it, and the on-hit damage feels consistent and good. I get 122 on hit damage every third attack from this, and then every like every auto I'm also getting 120 extra physical damage, plus every third auto that's doubled. That's pretty pretty good. An ally has been slain. Kill All right, let me grab these camps. Oh, I shred these things. Yeah, look at that. I'm doing 291 damage per auto, and then every third auto that's da that's doubled. So that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. I do. I shred camps right now. Oh, Rengo Kitty, no, you died. You killed my kitty. You, 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 you die, friend. You, you, you die, friend. <laughs> Wait. Oh no! It killed me! I could have armed! 
I could have R'd there and I didn't R because I didn't think- I thought I was gonna kill her with it and then she was gonna wind up freaking kill- or I thought my triumph was gonna save me from the ignite. Oh my god. I thought I was gonna live there. <laughs> How could I troll myself so hard, bro? What's wrong with me? Yeah, see, I shred people with down-hit damage. Like, I literally just can run through people and it's not a big deal. Currently now, because I also got that zeal after storm, I'm doing 150 on hit damage every single auto, plus my 233 AD, plus the Kraken Slayer damage occasionally. So it's really fun once you, like, if you can get going and you can afford the items and the game goes on for long, it feels really, really good. It's still not as good as the Trinity builds, but it's definitely really nice and then next patch like i said once things like the um well for one miramon is getting nerfed trinity's getting nerfed and hurricane's getting its price reduced so maybe then you'll have a little bit more viability for wacky builds like rage blade doesn't mean they'll be meta but you'll have more viability for them so that that'll be nice next patch hello Enemy team? Oh, you got one. Oh, you got my life. I I see. Okay, can I can I move my champ, please? Jeez, bro. I just was trying to move my champ there, and you guys were like, no. Yeah, I can auto from over the wall. Mundo, I will 1v1 you right now with this HP. Don't try me. It will not go well for you. I have 11 more turn now. I just realized that. Nice. We have long range. We have 625 range. We almost have Caitlyn range. We need two more marks and we'd end up on Caitlyn range. Oh yeah, I don't remember if I already said this, but a cool interaction with Rage Blade 2 is if the third auto, that double on hit effects, if that goes off while your E's on them, it counts as two stacks of your E instead of one. So you can actually like proc your E insanely quickly. Now we play the waiting game. Wait, come back. All right, don't come out. Okay, okay, it was a prank, bro. It was a prank. Yeah, the Vokal still hurts. <laughs> he still really hurts, bro. This dude is scary. All right, what are we doing here for items? Um, I want something with crit on it, but I don't know what I want out of these items. Like, I could go collector now, but do I really need it? Not really. I could save up for Hurricane, but it's really expensive. But so is Bloodthirster. I could do the Sheen proc for like the instant Q like on hit effect there, but hmm. Or we could do Rage Blade for attack speed too, but I want something with AD right now, because I'm only at 236 AD and I want more. 55, 55, 55. Honestly, I think we I think collector is the call, realistically. I I think it, it may not, you know what? We'll do essence this game. We'll do essence. Yeah, Varus, you shoot that wave. You teach that wave who's boss. Alright, you got all of them. You better than me. Better ADC wins, bro. Okay, they're over here. A little bit scary, because I know Val can like instantly one-shot me. I just walked into that owl. No! No! I jumped, I dashed into that and I did all the digger. <laughs> the Velkaz, he blew me up, bro. He blew me up. I'm so sad. No, <laughs> the Velkaz beat me. Oh, man. They could probably do Baron. Oh, my chat's off. 
My chance off. Oh, I did not realize that. Okay, well, not a big deal. Mm. I've died four times now. All right, we got to stop trolling like we are. We're being way too greedy because I know I'm really, really strong, but it's too greedy for this. How much damage does my machine do? 98 damage. All right. She does almost as much as the Kraken does, and it's much easier to proc the Sheen, honestly, because I don't have to stand still in auto three times. No, Varus died. Ow! I always keep getting hit by these freaking Velkaz abilities and they're chunking the crap out. Okay, yo, 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 chill. Getting hit by like one Velkaz Q did 600 damage to me. Jeez, bro, that did like a third of my, literally a third of my HP from one Velkaz Q. Wow. <laughs> what a fun and enjoyable thing. I guess he's just because he's got the double burn on him, yeah. Yeah, so they're gonna get Baron, but we should be able to fight for Soul as long as we can get Valkaz dead. We will win the fight for Soul. It's just, unfortunately, I took one stray Q there and then my health bar pretty much depleted, so I got screwed. As long as that doesn't happen again, we'll be okay. So I need 2200 gold and then I can get my Essence Reaver and after 2200 gold for the Essence Reaver, what do we do then? Their path is destined to cross ours. No, don't die. Oh, the CC. Mm, I'm kind of scared to go over this wall, not gonna lie. Ow, oh, what did I hit? I'm assuming Velkaz hit me with something again because I'm really slow again and my health bar is melting again. There we go, we actually killed a Valkaz in the end, now I'm happy. Not bad, not bad. Overall, again, the build does feel pretty decent. I think I like it, honestly. I don't think it's meta or anything, but it definitely does feel pretty decent. Pretty pretty usable if you get going. Um, I would say, though, if you don't get going, it would probably be genuinely useless, so... Probably not a go-to for that, but still decent enough. Uh, fun game overall. Let's see how much damage we did on damage charts and stuff, and then we will give it our fair verdict and, you know, all that jazz. But on a side note, if you did enjoy this game, and you do like my content, I suggest checking out my Twitch and my Discord and stuff down below, as well as liking and subbing to the channel, because I will be here every single day. Also, comment what you liked about it, the video if you did. Oh, sorry, I got to change scene. But uh, I will be here every day, uploading every day, and I stream every single day, so hopefully you enjoyed. We did the most damage in the game, actually. We did out-damage the Velkaz. That's surprising, considering how much damage he was doing. I feel like, though, with the amount of effort I had to put in with that build towards the end, it just wasn't, it was pretty lackluster. Probably, if if I had to rate the build compared to the Trinity build would be number one, then a normal crit build would be number two, and then this would probably be number three. So, not the best, but at the same time, it does feel pretty decent. It doesn't make it bad or anything. And who knows, maybe Rageblade will end up being, you know, the OP new thing once all the actual OP items are nerfed. But uh, I like the change. I think it actually makes Rageblade really good, and I do think it makes it a viable option for some games. Just not the go-to because other builds are just really really good like the trinity build anywho though i do hope you have a good day everybody i will see you tomorrow with another video and goodbye